Hey there, are you just starting out with IGCSE Mathematics and want some advice on how to approach learning the subject? Or are you someone that's been doing the subject for a while but is trying to learn new concepts and found the title of this video intriguing? Don't worry, you're in the right place. My name is Aryan. I'm a double world topper in both IGCSE Mathematics and Additional Mathematics. And I also had the second highest average IGCSE exam scores in India for my exam series. Here are three things that I recommend that you should keep in mind when you're approaching the learning the subject phase of IGCSE Mathematics. Number one, don't underestimate your textbook. This point is extremely self-explanatory, but I see a lot of people make this incredibly common mistake throughout their IGCSE Mathematics journey and just their IGCSE journey in general. Don't underestimate the power of your textbook. While you might, quite justifiably so, be inclined to believe that the textbook's too detailed, too long, or even too boring, it's important to keep in mind that when it comes to volume and depth of content, no other resource out there could probably beat your textbook. If you're a private candidate and don't have a school assigned textbook for IGCSE Mathematics, I will leave a link down below in the description to a list of Cambridge approved resources and textbooks that you can use for studying for IGCSE Mathematics. I would highly recommend that even if you don't attend a school, you should get your hands on a textbook. So now that you've got your hands on a textbook, what should you be doing with it? Well, take a moment and go through each chapter one by one. Make sure to pay attention to the theory and the examples that are given. These often provide extremely in-depth insight into what your thought process should look like when you're solving particular types of questions. Next up, solve the questions and exercises that are given in your textbook. I cannot stress this enough. Make sure to answer those questions. They'll help you revise each and every topic you learn right after you finish learning it. No topical questions that you find online will hyper focus in on individual concepts in the way that these questions do and they are an invaluable resource in your learning journey. Number two, focus on learning concepts instead of memorizing methods. This is also pretty self-explanatory but it's something that's also incredibly easy to lose track of when you're learning a subject. A lot of people tend to make the mistake of hyper-focusing on learning how to solve individual types of problems rather than just trying to understand the concept in general and apply it to the problems. For example, instead of focusing on trying to memorize every single possible type of 3D trigonometry problem that might appear on your IGCSE mathematics exam, try and actually visualize the figures in your head and understand the concepts that you're applying to get from, say, one angle to another angle or from a side length to an angle or whatever the question may demand. This will help you obtain a better overall conceptual understanding of the topic, meaning that you're more likely to perform better at questions that have a mix of different topics and concepts and which require you to really apply your logical thinking. Number three, make sure to practice and revise all the old concepts that you've learned while you go ahead with learning new concepts. Make sure that you don't lose track of the concepts that you covered or learned, say, last month while you're focusing on learning new ones this month. In order to accomplish this, you need to make sure that you keep revisiting these old topics, revising them, solving practice problems, and just staying in touch with them in general. A great way of accomplishing this is to portion off a section of your overall study time and allocate it specifically to revising the topics that you've done in the past. Say, for example, you're studying an hour of IGCSE mathematics every single day. It might be helpful to take one of these hours and assign it to specifically revising old topics and old questions. During this revision time, you can do pretty much anything that involves those old topics. You can find topical questions online, you can go through the textbook again, maybe read through the theory. Just make sure that you stay in touch with the concepts and don't forget them while you're on the path to learning new ones. Anyways, that's the end of my three pieces of advice for how to approach learning IGCSE mathematics. If you found any of these pieces of advice or just the video in general helpful, make sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel so you never miss an upload. 
Also, if you have any questions or just want to discuss anything about IGCSE mathematics at all, or want to give your own pieces of advice to people that might be watching the video, feel free to leave a comment down below. I'll try to answer as many of y'all's questions as possible. Anyways, that's all for today. I'm out and thank you very much for watching.